our next get at the adda is again somebody who is not a stranger to the adda the adda under the banyan tree in bangalore has been replaced by a virtual adda this year and joining us on the adda is somebody whose bikes you have ridden and surely know very well amit gupta amit the founder of yulu bikes is with us at the adda welcome amit Thank you, PK. Pleasure to be here. You know, uh, Amit, I always ask you this question, and I'll ask you again because I still feel, you know, this is something people need to know. You know, having been a co-founder of the first ever unicorn India produced, and then you decide to go and start something very, very different from what in Mobi was, and it is in the physical world. It is, you know, renting people bikes. So a lot of people feel like. What are, what do you see in this field that others don't? Yeah, before that, PK, I would actually like to uh, recall one statement which Sridhar made yesterday uh-huh. that one should solve big problem and not cool problem. So my journey with Yulu is actually very much aligned with his uh, his note yesterday at NPC. And as far as uh, what we are seeing, which probably others are not able to see or probably see very soon. that country like india where the vehicle ownership is very very low our big cities are being modernized with uh, better connectivity in the form of metro and and buses so more and more public transportation and what is required for us to move millions of people every day is a scalable network and if you look cities like singapore hong kong london uh, like not people are not using car they are using tube train or whatever mrt is whatever they call in their respective countries mm. same thing is actually happening in india as we speak where we see that a lot of people will be using metro and buses and for the first and the last mile they need a much more scalable affordable and most importantly sustainable solution where you look comes in and becomes a complementary layer to that and what we believe is if in, our country has to grow at 8 to 10% uh, mobility will play a very very big role despite of the fact that a lot of work will get done virtually which i think will increase the productivity to a very big level but you know people are out there they need to move uh, for something or the other and this whole thing was not a possibility earlier because there was no iot for example there was no ai there was no, not many things which were kind of missing in india now we have a digital payment we have a good electric mobility ecosystem which kind of we have also built over last 3 years so we think this is going to be a transforming industry as a whole the way within mobi when we started uh, there was nothing called mobile advertising and over last 10 years advertisement on mobile became the largest form factor same way we are able to see that mobility will also get transformed with shared and electric uh, and small form factor and yulu actually is leading that part from the front Awesome, Amit. Amit, also, you know, one of the aspects is, of course, people getting used to it. One is the infrastructure part of it that we get it. What do you see in the patterns of people using something like this? Like, how? Like, is it youngsters or is it everybody? Is it uh, when you had uh, bikes which were like not powered to bikes which are now powered and electric? What do you see the kind of patterns which is changing, like in terms of people's acceptability of this form? Yeah, so clearly, when our journey started with pedal cycles, and we launched this service uh, three years ago in Bangalore, and Bangalore being lot of techie crowd, and they were fascinated and good weather by the way uh, uh, in the city. So we saw people starting using these bicycles. At the same time, uh, we realized that it's only two kilometer where the sweet spot is for the bicycle, and what we want to solve for is a five kilometer journey use case. and that's where we had to introduce or think about a powered use case and that's where electric mobility came into picture now as far as electric mobility is concerned we are seeing a wide uh, acceptance across all cities as you know that delhi is very warm um, and mumbai also is fav- you know reasonably uh, is kind of a weather you cannot be biking but uh, when you give them a product like yulu miracle which is a battery powered vehicle no one basically minds uh, using it for their day to day commute as far as the type of people are using 
it was very techy geeky crowd in the beginning because that's where the early adopter of something like this happens but right now it is a very very you know uh, uh, all the spectrum so from white collar people to gray collar blue collar women students everyone is basically getting comfortable using zulu also amit like you know one of the things which makes these things viral is the ecosystem that builds around and on top of it how's that coming along do you see other startups trying to plug you in or build some things around it you know things like that have you seen that kind of come up or do so, you think it will come up yeah so when we started this was kind of a chicken and egg problem so there was no ecosystem and hence uh, something like yulu should not exist but we actually because we had this long vision uh, where we actually said that okay if things are not there we will end up building it example is for example here is, is flipkart where there was no credit card so they got credit a uh, cash on delivery there was no logistic company so they ended up building e card same way yulu ended up building our own vehicle supply chain partnership with oems like bajaj our own battery and battery charging infrastructure around that so we actually built all of that but how do you see that let's say 10 years down the line maybe some of it will basically say okay this is not our core competence if someone else has got a better and and uh, better technology and more scalable and efficient we will switch to that why not but in the beginning we had to do all of the hard work and we believe that uh, what we have done is also industry leading some of it will become a business in itself uh, going forward so that's also a one big possibility with us very good that's that's awesome to hear and you know knowing you you would probably be building layers on layers and layers of this thing and it will bring more and more smart and intelligent people to come into the ecosystem so thank you very much amit and when the next time we get you back on adda which would not be too far from now uh, we want to hear about millions of bikes and yeah. millions and millions of people using it <laughs> certainly certainly thank you pk and thank, thank you nascom team uh, pleasure to be here